Good morning from a truck stop in Las Vegas. I was minding my own business, heading north, and then I got paranoid about my tires. I get paranoid a lot, but it was for good reason. You never want to blow out a front steer. Steer is what they call the front tires in the big trucking world. Um, so I got brand new tires. But something happened yesterday. I'm still here. They broke one of my studs right here. And uh, so I am here overnight. Have been here overnight. The replacement stud comes in today at the shop over there. I was on my way to see Wanderboom. Like I said, I got a little paranoid about tire quality heading north. I uh, meant to meet up with him and, and kind of fix a couple things on the inside, just kind of correct my, my mistakes. And uh, yeah, so now I'm stuck here. But I got even better news, or equally good news. He's coming here. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, he is driving from Pahrump to North Las Vegas, north of North Las Vegas. Uh, I'm covering fuel, but uh, he's uh, getting residency and some other things here in the state, so he has to go into town anyways. I can't drive, I'm missing a stud. We got the tire guys, who actually just walked by and pointed at me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just killing time. It's been a little hot. Uh, Max fan works great. One thing you notice about the heat in hot weather is that it, it, it heats up the, the wood, it heats up the counters, it heats up the floors, and all that heat gradually radiates. So what I, what I do is, right after sunset, drop all the windows down, get all the heat out, and then a couple hours after that, crack the rear window, turn this sucker on high, and suck out all the air through this. Honestly, I could do two of these in a vehicle like this, a vehicle this size. It's a lot of hot air in here lot and uh yeah, it gets it gets hot and sweaty and like i said in the previous video spa sensations at walmart 200 something dollars incredible mattress if if you like a firm mattress this is all subjective it's all preference but i like that so uh mat mattress is great other than that uh they've been hooking me up with free food and drinks so i just been camping out here and i think i'll camp out till tomorrow because i'm gonna get my alignment the reason my tires went bad before, my alignment was off. These brand new tires were very expensive. Very expensive. All right, so uh, Wanderboom is here. We were talking about the countertops and actually he is heading north. So I think for the, the bus fare, I'm also stuck in the parking lot. Limited resource, uh, limited resources, limited time. But then I saw, here, let me let me zoom in. So behind my 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 bed back there, there's a car, and a car just drove over the rocks here. And I thought to myself, is someone? Is, what is going on? And look who it is. Reed showed up out of the blue. <laughs> what? Please explain yourself. Uh, so we sold our house. It's all done. And I was gonna go to the bus fair up in Eugene, Oregon, but my bus isn't ready because I've been treating it like a hobby and not a job. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still there, Coach works, and I just drove Mr. Wolf. You just drove up from Colorado. I stayed at, I was gonna stay in Moab last night, but I actually got stuck on the road. And it, long story, I'll tell that one later. Oh, so, anyway. You're on the road for two weeks, are you going to the bus fair then? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, dude, that's <laughs> awesome. Well, you got a place to stay if you want. Awesome. <laughs> or up top on the putting green. There you that go. <laughs> And by the way, Wander Boom is here. We were just catching. I was trying to just explain what just happened. <laughs> we heard a loud noise, and I thought, what kind of what kind of what crazy guy happened back there? And then the all of a sudden, Reed shows up. I, I modified my Yukon too. Let's see it. <laughs> Wait, I thought you sold that to. Uh, no, to... this is Mr. Wolf. Mr. White is in Vegas with the guys. Right. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, with the bigger tires. Yeah. Look at this, he's got a futon inside. I think I can already see it. This is nuts. Like, we were just literally talking about. The countertop situation, <laughs> some other situation, and then this guy shows up here. He's got tunes, he's got tools. He's got Futon. A bed. <laughs> wow. Futon, he's ready for the road. Oh, Inverter. Look, he's got, see, this is this is uh, the bus life on, on a budget here, van life. You can get a little inverter, hook it to your battery. Right. Little futon. But $500 build, right? Can, yeah, basically, not even that. 
I uh, think I spent two fifty on the crouton. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Not even that. Nice. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm just glad the Dude, this is such a great surprise, man. <laughs> Bring it in for a hug. <laughs> this is so great. I, I actually brought you guys something from, from Colorado. What's that? Well, Some chilies? Well, Did Jen make uh, me the not, chili? Not what a lot of people want from Colorado. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Right? Ooh, boy. And since Wander, good stuff. Since Wander Boom is here. Juicy goodness. It's a good stuff. And I didn't bring uh, <laughs> what people normally bring from Colorado. That is hilarious. Yes, other exactly. Yeah. You can get it That's here. Available. Yeah, the other, the other green you can get stuff. Get it everywhere now. Right, there Dude, you go. What, <laughs> what, a, what, what a day. Here I am stuck at a truck stop, and then three of my friends show up out of the blue. There you go. I even brought my lawn chairs. Bus life. You did. Well, it's not enough. I did. Yeah. I'm just like, chill. <laughs> Let's get the party going. This is right. insane. Goodbye, Wonder Boom. Good to see you. See you in like three weeks. Yeah, I'll see you soon. We'll see you in a few weeks. Bye guys! Oh my god, we are we are totally camping in the parking lot. Huh? Reed brought some beverages. Have one of these things. Maybe I should. High five, dude. Dude, thanks for surprising me. You're welcome. See? So, so today, at some point after the wheel gets fixed, we're gonna go over and surprise Got Love over at their house. I I I tricked them into thinking they were getting a package. Because I was like, you know, I sold the house. I'm taking a couple of weeks. I had a client that had some things that uh, delayed a couple of things. It's like, bus is on uh, on hold. I want to go to the bus fair. I'll stop by in Vegas, see the gots. So I'm surprising them. And Jax now is part of the surprise. Yes, this is going to be so much fun. Good. <laughs> Okay, so we were taking off finally. It's 20, uh, more than 24 hours later. <coughs> it's almost five o'clock. I got here at, uh, I don't know, two o'clock p.m. yesterday before the wheel incident. We're going over to surprise the gods. You guys met them before in Colorado, uh, before I left. They're friends of mine, friends of Reed's, and uh, they live, I don't know, 25 uh, miles away. If I didn't update you already, I'm gonna catch Wanderboom up in Oregon in a couple weeks. Um, just to kind of tidy up a couple things. Also, maybe take a couple weeks off because uh, I got a little frustrated. And um, so yeah, I might just kind of reset, finish out strong, and then hit the road this summer. We are pulling up. Oh, there's a familiar car. Reads other... Uh... Suburban. Maybe I should park right here. Because I think I can. And it looks like he's parking in their driveway. <laughs> this is funny. I think we're too early. No, look at that. <laughs> Ow, I just hit my head. He's kind of like being on a field trip. This is our first time riding in Jax's bus. That is true. Yeah, we haven't ridden in it. Really? Yeah, we, we rode in your bus. That's right. But not Jax's. Thank you for the hospitality. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for the surprise. <laughs> One little more awake today. There you go. Right now my bus is getting aligned because the reason I replaced my, ha my tires is because my alignment was off and I did not realize how quickly tires get messed up. So, um... And he wants to drive over 45 miles an hour. <laughs> We're driving together to Oregon. He's already complaining about my, my bus speeds. We are in uh, Old Vegas. You like being safe. Yes. We're in Old Vegas, uh, Fremont area, so this is the first time that I have seen this area. I've come to Vegas about a dozen times, uh, so let's walk around and check it out. Miles, while... Miles and I were here uh, right after Jamie's van build. We drove through here and stopped just to take a look at it and see what Vegas was like. And... <clears throat> he gets to play tour guide today. Yeah. I 
right, guys, I got my baby. $300 later, we're ready to hit the road. Now let's test this uh, wind microphone out. Wind jammer, I forget what it's called. Test it out in the wind. We are uh, heading towards, if you know where Rhyolite is, we are east of Death Valley, Nevada side. Rhyolite is up that way. Tonopah is up that way. Reno is up that way. We just went through a place called Beatty. Uh, Reed's driving his. I'm driving mine. Uh, alignment is much better. It's uh, not perfect, but it's a lot better. So uh, anyways, right now we're setting up some walkie-talkies because he doesn't have a CB. And uh, even if you have a good carrier, there's still a lot of no service here. It's just easier to go back and forth. Here's a vegetable oil update. I'm in a truck stop with Reed outside Reno. And I got all the way here, well, 30 miles from here, all the way here on one veggie oil filter, which makes me happy. So right now it's time to change it. Show the bugs. Oh yeah. And also there was a, uh, a bug massacre. It rained. Look at all these, you can see mosquitoes. Oh wow. Look at mine. Look at reeds. I mean, it was, it was a serious, it was a serious thing. It was like it was raining. It was raining bugs. My windshield, I had to stop and clean my windshield, it was so bad. I can't even tell you how excited I am to see trees again. Pine trees. Uh, and I can't tell you how excited I am to <laughs> wear a sweatshirt <laughs> for the first time in a long time. I'm definitely not a desert person. Here's a quick update. Uh, we're about 300 miles away. Mount Shasta is right there. You can see that, that big whiteness. Uh, Reed's behind me. Uh, I switched back over to diesel. There's something going on with the diesel tank. I don't know if it's empty, or sorry, veggie tank. I don't know if it's empty. I don't know, I changed the filter this morning at the truck stop uh, outside Reno. I changed the diesel filter. Uh, diesel filter that gave me an extra five miles per hour because of the because uh, it was clogged and um, I had one of the most intense drives it was making me really stressed out because we were going so slow and it was such a bumpy road I could never have vlogged and drived and uh, right now I'm on a pretty nice highway but it was very narrow and very sketchy so um, anyways I'm just so happy to see so much green. I mean, I don't know, are you a desert or a mountain person? I'm more a beach person, but desert or mountains, I'll pick the mountains any day of the week. Oh, also, leaving Vegas yesterday, uh, there was a pretty intense side wind of 20 to 50 miles per hour. And uh, at one point, I was blown out of my lane. Uh, past the rumble strip. So it was a very intense drive yesterday. Very, very intense, just uh, focusing and yeah. So just trying to go safe, arrive alive. We're at the bus fair. We got here safely. Um, and also I picked up a fridge. I got a Dometic Dual Zone 75 liter fridge you can do both sides fridge you can do both sides freezer you can do fridge freezer or freezer fridge or freezer freezer fridge fridge confusing isn't it it's pretty awesome though we are gonna we're gonna try and fit this thing in here we measured for this specific fridge so the plug is actually on this side yeah we're gonna have to also drill holes over here let's let's pick this up and see if our calculations were right this was done months ago when you're holding your camera. I know. This was done months ago when Mojo Bus and I were talking about I'm stuck. Talking about fridges. But we're not gonna drill anything. Look at that. We're gonna have yeah, we're gonna have to take the uh but we measured to to you just unscrew those things. 
I don't know how we're gonna slide it in though. No, the plugs are over here. It's gonna be fine. It is. Yeah. Maybe look at the room we have over here. Oh yeah. But we're gonna have to take these off oh, and yeah, somehow absolutely. lower this in. We're gonna need some straps or something like a crane. We're, we also need to drill some holes on this side for the uh, air to escape so this thing doesn't overheat. We'll do that later. I'll do that later. You don't have to do that. I'll we're, do that. We're, we're gonna run it. I know. <laughs> With water. I know. <laughs> Sometimes you put the cart before the horse. You know, there's it's all right. There's nothing like planning. I love the way we plan on this bus. It's <laughs> At awesome. least it fits, man. It it's fits. like it's like shoot, ready, aim. Is that how it goes? No. So ready, aim, fire. See, we can't prepare. We labeled this thing red. See that? Yeah, unless you did that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that. We got the crimpers. Um, so. Oh shit! What? So we already, uh, this is a 12 volt uh, or, I mean, connector. Shoot. This is a 12 volt connector. On the 12 volt connector, it says which one is positive and negative. And we determined that the negative has the ribbed side mm -hmm. and the positive has the, um, the writing. text, the writing. That's a lot of wire. Um, we want a good connection. True. Uh, do you have? Uh... You know what? I don't even know if I have this gauge. This is a big gauge. Look at how fat these wires are. That thin we, ones. We can just twist tie them. For now. Anyways, when you're doing this stuff, you should definitely plan ahead. <laughs> but somehow. No, screw planning ahead. You just... Oh, the yellow ones I think are the right you gauge. Just, you just jump in. But we don't have. The do best have... way to do this on, on any schoolie project is that you don't plan a thing. You just you just kind of wing it. Yeah. It's the most fun. Uh, you know what? I have uh, yellow in my in my truck. Do you? Yeah, I do. Of course. A builder brings tools on a road trip. I, uh, Why don't you tell us what you what you brought? What I brought? Yeah. What you bring? Huh? Yeah. What kind of tools? I brought a uh, a drill. Yeah. And a uh, grinder. And uh, sanding wheel and grinding wheels. Uh huh. And an impact driver. Uh huh. With the bits. And a two hundred and thirty something piece mechanic set. Yeah. What are you going to do with all that? We well, never know. All right, we're doing the, uh, the install of this thing using uh, some kind of moving straps. We took the handles off because we measured without handles, but now I'm thinking we probably should have had handles with the original measurement. Uh, that is, well, it's too late. Too late now. I shouldn't mention that. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's not that heavy. No, it's just awkward. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. So over here. Yep. You hold your end. I have it. Up. Yes, I'm holding it up. Okay. <coughs> yes, that's the way it goes in. All right. Just for now, I'm gonna hold that up. Okay. All right. Bada bing. How much room do you have on your side? Plenty. Plenty? Because mine is all the way snug. I, I added the wires finally. These black ones are fridge. Very thick gauge. And uh, we just turned this bad boy on. Lights are working. Fridge is working. We don't really know what the settings are yet. Oh, Celsius. That's what I was, there you go. Fahrenheit. Because, you know, we're, we're in America. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so yeah, here we go, guys. Dual zone. Fridge, fridge, freezer, freezer, fridge, freezer. So, um, Let's do a freezer on this side, fridge on this side, just to test it out. And then tomorrow, I'll add just a bunch of uh, waters in here.